manufacturing sectors. Well, it started off with a girl in a bikini and a budget above 100000 It's been all downhill since. These are the promotional videos real estate agents are giving us these days. The latest, featuring a bloke with a home video camera and a house to die for. If you're on Struggle Street... Typical concrete home, but it's had a few little things done to it that make it quite special. Peter Gibson's your man. We're going for a quick tour and I'm sure you're going to be really, really surprised. Peter's the battler's buddy, a real estate super salesman. OK, here we go. We're into the house itself. Oh, wow, what an entry for you. A bloke who can spot the silver lining anywhere, anytime. The bathroom, well, it's a typical bathroom, isn't it? There it is, the bright, colourful shower curtain. Behind that, we've got the shower over the bath. What he can't sell ain't worth buying. Toilet's on my left hand side, just so you can see it, I'll turn on the, there it goes, back into the kitchen. What a fabulous area. No fancy lighting or 12 track audio, but this is the bloke you want in your corner when push comes to shove at contract time. Peter, how nice would it be to have a budget that's unlimited to sell a house? Oh, it'd be unbelievable. We just don't get it in those areas, Nick, because we're looking at family homes, working families, but we do it with a $200 camera. Even that was at mate's rates. I got this from my son off his online electronics store, 200 bucks, and I can do it, and I can do whatever people want me to do. You're a one-man band, you can do it all yourself. Absolutely, that's what we like to do. It keeps the cost down for our property owners, and they're happy with it. It's a three-level home, contemporary design, oh, open-plan living, gourmet kitchen. Anyone with a $4 million house could bankroll this video, but in Peter's world, the features are somewhat more basic. Peter, every house has its unique selling points. You've got a ripper here, haven't you? Absolutely. Have a look at this. All these golf balls. Have you ever seen a collection like this? Something totally unique. It's not always such an easy sell. There's the odd clothes rack that pops up from nowhere, and messy kitchens are all in a day's work. Now have a look at this. Look at all the cupboard space. Fantastic, isn't it? Double sink. You've got the gas cooking. Nice big range plus a dining area. The vendor hasn't had a chance to clean up the dishes. It looks like a dog's breakfast. And you say straight away, look at the size of the kitchen, it's huge. Well, it is. And I know what you're talking about there, and that property was huge. It had to be to take all those dishes. <laughs> Peter's in and out in five minutes, tops. Here we go, another bedroom, third bedroom. It's got a bit of everything. And then we go past, oh, there it is, another loo and shower recess. We've got a bit of everything. Haven't got much time, but let's keep moving. He's the go-to man in Melbourne's northern suburbs, no matter what you're selling. If you want to talk to me further about this house, I'm Peter Gibson from The Professionals. Give me a call, you can hear the dogs barking, they're calling me already. Dogs are part and parcel of the job, but you won't believe his greatest achievement. I walked out, or I actually walked into the house. As I was going in, the ambulance is there. I thought, God, what's happened here? Well, they found a poor fellow next door, he just passed away. Look closely, there's the ambulance. And I'm going out just to give you one last look at the property. There it is, a nice big front yard. Parks across the way. This bloke's a pro, all right. You've even managed to sell a house to someone where the person next door was dead. It was passed away, absolutely, and we got our shots. We got it all done. This is an absolute gem. People pay a fortune in other parts of town for this. Who's got the harder job? The highfalutin real estate agents with the million dollar properties who can afford to have supermodels draping themselves over the beds, or a bloke like you with a $200 camera? Oh, I don't know the answer to that one, Nick. I reckon we do, because we're doing all the work and we're giving people actually what they want. I'd love the $500,000 budget, or I'd even like a $10,000 budget, because out here, $1,500, bucks, 2000 that's all we need. Look, can you see the birds up there? There's some native birds in the trees. There goes one now. He's been called the race caller of real estate. Into the backyard. Oh, isn't this just like heaven? A bloke who's fluent in the universal language of selling. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So you're from Nepal. We don't get many Bhutan Indians here. Nothing stands between him and a sale. They're one of my favourite restaurants. The girls that serve me are from Nepal. Oh, yes. They're really lovely girls. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. He's as upfront as they come. Have you ever gilded the lily when it comes to selling a property? Nick, I've got no need. I'm dealing with families and family homes. Can't edit. What you see is exactly what you get. <laughs> Oh, uh, what about that? It's such a uh, strange way of going about his business, but at least the pictures don't lie right. Well, Peter tells us that he has found a buyer for that place, so it worked. Well, coming up.